Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the second week of October reads start from the 8th through the 14th of October 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see how this week is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards and color cards in this reading, so stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may not, may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out, Scorpio, how the second week is going to be for all of you out there. Let's begin. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, wow, and Ten of Pentacles. And in the deck, we do have the um, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. It seems like, you know, um, you will be on the receiving end of some sort of communication coming in your, you know, in your life. Um, I feel like in a situation which you might have kind of like, you know, given up on a person relationship that you might have felt like, you know, it's, uh, it's something that you don't want to deal with. Uh, I feel like, you know, you are going to have a communication with that specific someone of yours. Um, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a long awaited communication, basically. You might have not spoke to each other for years, for months, uh, but this communication is going to change everything. The, the equation between the two of you is going to change forever. So I really see a communication which can lead things to um, fruition when it comes to your love life uh, goals, and you know um i feel like you know if, if your love life was like missing uh the happiness the stability the peace um this this week is going to be the time when you are going to um you know talk to a person and then make things um heading the right direction i feel like you know this communication will change everything because uh, you both desire the same thing you want happiness they want happiness but i feel like maybe you are on the more on the uh, financial side and they are on the emotional side of the connection maybe you are somebody who's who's willing to give them or provide them with a lot of stability when it comes to finances and maybe they are willing to provide you with uh with the you know they are ready to put their heart into it so i feel like you know there is some sort of like a balance coming in your love life with this person because maybe either one of you is uh, um you know very emotional and the other person is very uh, much uh, into practical way of life i feel like you know that's how you balance each other very well i feel like you know this this connection that you might have given up on um or they might have given up on the person that you love the person that you desire i feel like you know both are on the level where you both know that you want each other but maybe you were having you know some differences or something like that but now this week is the time and you are going to feel like you are ready and prepared to um to talk openly and honestly about you know what you have to offer what they have to offer in this connection as well so i really see the communication taking place uh when you are giving up on it or when you are thinking like you know it's over like you know i feel like you know maybe you have already felt that way and now you're communicating with this person for maybe the last and final time that like you know okay fine let's see if it can work out or not if not then we are ready to move on with our lives individually so i feel like you know that communication is taking place and that's going to change everything like you know this communication that you're having in this week time is going to set the tone for the uh, rest of your connection with this person why because i feel like you know this communication that you are having is a long-awaited communication that like i mentioned earlier as well and i feel like for majority of you this communication is something where you're going to open your heart up where you're going to open up about your intentions towards each other where you are opening up about the plans for the future so this is something that you might have restricted yourself from doing in the past but i feel like you know this communication is going to make the two of you very comfortable being with each other so i feel like you know that's going to you know, speed up things in your connection. Why? Because you will not have any mental blocks. You will not have your your person having any mental blocks. So I feel like, you know, as you have that open communication around the future of this connection, this connection will definitely pick up a pace. And um, I feel like, you know, you are going to head forward towards marriage and commitment with this person. And I feel like, you know, this is something that you might have been thinking a lot about already. Like, you know, uh, but maybe you have like surrendered, like, you know, it's not going to happen or maybe something like that. But I feel like, you know, as you decide, as you talk, as you communicate, everything is going to, uh, you know, work out very well for the two of you. I really see the two of you starting a new chapter together. Uh, again, it could be something which you thought that you shouldn't be doing right now. But 
I feel like, you know, it's now or never kind of a situation which is developing here, which is going to make you take certain actions, which you are going to take. And that's how you are going to head towards the life that you desire with your person. So I really feel like a week is coming in for your love life, which you waited for so long, where you could talk openly, communicate openly and decide what do you want both um in this connection uh for the future so yeah let's see some oracle cards now let's see what else is happening what is the oracle guidance for you for this week time <clears throat> what is the oracle guidance for you for this week time what is the oracle guidance for you for this week time oracle guidance for you for this week time Historical guidance for you for this week time. So let's see. The first card, transformation. The fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, you might have been resisting this transformation that is taking place in your life. And I feel like you know, this week is going to help you um, surrender. And now allow this transformation to take place for you, for yourself, for this connection as well. And I feel like you know, it's time for you to give in and just go with the flow. I feel like you know this week might be providing you with an opportunity where you are going to value this uh, conversation way too much. Where you're going to be spending your time, you're going to spare your time with this person to, to talk through things, to walk uh, into a different like, you know, uh, direction with this person. And uh, I feel like you know, it's, it's more about the... Uh, change that you're accepting and admitting and uh, the way you are like acting upon it is going to be like uh, you're allowing things to happen or align uh, uh, allowing things to align you with what you desire with the with this person as well shine from within looks are only skin deep true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine this is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. I feel like in for majority of you, maybe you were not ready to embrace what you were feeling for this person earlier. And if that was the case, um, I feel like, you know, uh, you are going to do that. Now, for some of you, you might have never experienced that self-love before this time. And maybe that's why this person is going to love you as you started loving yourself i feel like you know maybe the inner transformation that has been taking place for you where you are valuing yourself prioritizing yourself i feel like and for some of you maybe that is going to work and that is going to make your person value you and uh, that's going to make your person feel like no they have to take a decision about you or else they might lose you so i feel like you know, that that is working well for you uh celebration get ready to let your hair down and celebrate this time to go out and dance and play an invitation could be on the way i feel like you know, this is a time when you are going to value and celebrate your life like anything i feel like you know you are going to feel like uh your life is once and you have to enjoy it to the fullest and uh you are going to let uh you know love to you uh, love come to you and i feel like you know that's how you are going to be um you know putting yourself in that position where you're allowing things to happen and you're just going with it and you're just like letting the divine take the take take care of the rest i really see that uh you know that that person that's relationship that you're currently you know dealing with this connection is going to sort out like anything like you know you're not mm, going to be putting much effort into it it's just happening for sure so i really feel like you know something beautiful is happening when it comes to your love life during this uh uh you know week time protect your dreams you are the guardian of your precious dreams they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them i feel like you know, it's very important for you to look after your dreams and protect them and to nourish them uh whatever it is that you truly desire um i feel like you know you're letting that happen now you're protecting your dreams you're not sharing it out with anyone and you are just like you know working on yourself maybe you're trying to manifest something with your person as well and you're trying to nourish those dreams desires that you have with your person and that's how you are able to create that life that you desire with your person as well so i really see this uh you know week to be a beautiful week when it comes to your love life situation with your person and i really feel like you know it's gonna um it's going to put you in that, you know, happy space for yourself uh, because you are going to feel fulfilled uh, already by having that open communication with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. Um, hold on. I forgot to add, uh, I think, the color card for the Pisces as well. But now let's uh, uh, pull out the color card. Let's see what color could be significant or lucky for you for this week time. <clears throat> so these two cards wants to come out let's see 
Coral, allow fluent synchronicity into your life. Like I said earlier, 18th of, uh, um, you know, uh, 18 could be a significant number. 18th of this month could also be a significant date for you, for some of you. Gold, uh, attract abundance. Gold color is also going to be lucky for you. You can wear it in jewelry or however you want it to be. Uh, 21st of October could also be a significant uh, date for uh, you as well. Um, for some of you so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye